How y'all doing? November has already come and gone. I can't believe how fast the time is going. And despite moving into a new house, trying to get everything situated, I actually tried a decent amount of new stuff this month. So I wanted to put together a November favorites list. Anything on this list needed to be like, blow my socks off good. Not just, you know, mm, oh, it's okay. Cause I know this time of year you're getting bombarded with recommendations. So this stuff needed to be elite. But the array is pretty cool. We got fragrance. Colognes, perfumes, skincare, makeup, hair care, candle. And make sure you stick around to the end because I'm saving my best for last. All right, starting out with skincare, I'm going to talk about the thing I desperately need to put on right now. These are the Fenty Beauty Plush Puddin' Lip Masks. Not pudding. Puddin, don't get it twisted. I never thought anything was gonna take the place of my Laneige sleeping masks. I haven't used those once since I got these because this is just a little bit richer. It stays on my lips a little bit better where I feel like the Laneige can dissipate rather quickly. These two come in a set, which is really cool. This one is like the nude clear, which I just put on. It has a very, very subtle caramelish, but it is so lightly fragranced, which is another plus compared to the Laneige masks because I love them, but I feel like the sets they've been coming out with recently is like caramel apple, cotton candy. Like it's too strong and it can really be off-putting. This one has a name. It's called Barbados Cherry. And then this one like doesn't. So I guess it just means it's the clear. This one has a little bit more of a cherry scent to it. I'll put on more. I don't care. This one I would do during the day if you just want a little bit of like a tint on your lips. And then the clear one I do at night and mama, I put this on thick and heavy, go to bed and my lips, I have this all over my fingers. My lips feel so good in the morning. This time of year, lips are so dry and cracked. I can't get enough of these. Mm -mm -mm. Next up, we have the Glow Recipe Pomegranate Peptide Firming Serum. I got this and I have to admit, I didn't like jump into using it. Cause I don't know what it is and I'm gonna admit something controversial yet brave. When I saw that they came out with a peptide like firming and lifting anti-aging serum. I think the packaging sometimes, because it is so nice but fun, I think, oh, it's not gonna be as strong as something. I need it to look like it's like a medical grade thing. James Welsh actually convinced me to use this. I was watching his videos before I had him on my Beautiful and Bothered podcast, and he was talking about how much he loved this. Then when we had him on the podcast, I brought this up because I started using it before he was on. I was immediately kind of like, Whoa. Obviously I couldn't really judge the effects yet cause I hadn't been using it long enough, but just the feel and to quote him, the sensorial experience of putting this on was so enjoyable right out of the gate that we were kind of just, you know, fangirling about how much we liked this. Then I've been using it for a couple more weeks after that. And I gotta tell you, this has knocked my socks off and replaced all of my other anti-aging serums, even my retinols, because I think peptides are an amazing anti-aging aging ingredient if you feel a little bit too maybe apprehensive to use retinols or retinoids or maybe they irritate your skin. And as someone with combo skin that I do get oily on my nose when I wear makeup, everywhere else is dry, like can be flaky dry, especially this time of year. So using retinols can really dry the skin out. So not only are peptides a great alternative where it's not gonna dry you out as much as a retinol will, but there is also hyaluronic acid in this and pomegranate, which is also targeting fine lines and wrinkles. But the hyaluronic acid I find is just so much more hydrating for me. And that's the thing about this. Not only am I seeing just great results in little fine lines and wrinkles around my eye, even the reduction, because I am I am pairing this with my Drunk Elephant Proteiny Peptide Cream. This I've been using for quite a while now, and I'm seeing the difference in the peptides, what it's even doing to reduce my kind of deeper lines when my forehead is even relaxed. It's really making a difference, but just the experience of this, I can tell that there is hyaluronic acid in it, is that it almost immediately sinks into the skin. A lot of retinol serums are a little bit heavy to me and then I go and put my moisturizer on top and I'm like, is this all like mixing together? Like it's not thin enough, obviously unless you're using a super watery concentrated retinol, but I just absolutely love the experience of using this and the results for me as far as the kind of reduction in fine lines and wrinkles, texture has just been, 
like chef's kiss. Now an eye cream that has captivated me and this is the only place I'm using retinol these days is the Sunday Riley Five Stars Eye Cream. It is a 6% retinol complex. It has ceramides and poppy seed. But I said to my best friend Kevin and co-host of the pod, I said, listen, I was like, I'm noticing the little fine lines and wrinkles as I'm getting into my thirties here. Mama wants an eye cream that is gonna be like construction worker heavy lifting. And he recommended this one. I've been using this for like two months and boy oh boy is she doing the lifting. And also the reason I really haven't made too many skincare videos thus far on my channels, as someone that does this for a living, you think I get a lot of makeup, I get waterboarded with skincare and it's almost kind of ridiculous to me because it's all iterations of the same thing. I really am a believer in trying something for a long time before I recommend it. And my skin routine has really been changing over the past like a little over a year because anything I've used other than little things here and there haven't blown me away where I felt like I had a solid routine that I was like, you know, this is it. Like if I never got PR again, what would I go back out and keep purchasing? And I can finally say it's this routine. It's something about the peptides for anti-aging without drying me out with the retinol and then the retinol, the niacinamide and the ceramides in the eye cream that are really doing the anti-aging around my eyes, which are my problem areas, the lines in my forehead, the lines around my eyes, even here, my smile lines. I'm just noticing such a beautiful difference in the anti-aging, but not sacrificing hydration. And last on our skincare list is the SPF that again, this is it. This is my SPF, man. This is the Dune SPF. This one is the, I believe the regular, it is called the Mug Guard Invisible Gel SPF 30. And then this one here is the Mineral Melt. So Invisible Mineral sunscreen SPF 30. And the reason I love these so much is because when I tell you they are clear, I mean clear. This is the original, the mug melt. It comes out green and then look at the immediate blend. Like it's clear, clear and it's thin. It feels like a moisturizer. And then the mineral, if you're a mineral gal, I'm running out of hand space here. This one comes out a little bit more cream colored, but again, she is completely clear the minute you start blending it out, which I love. And what I love about this mineral one is it has a little bit more of like a smoothing feel to it. So even though I love both of these under makeup, I've been actually gravitating towards this one, the mineral a little bit more because I feel like it just gives me like a nice, smooth slip. And this is an indie brand, which is super cool. Now onto our fragrances. I am not a, I forget the word when you're like an expert on fragrances, like a sommelier, but for fragrances, I am not that person. So I'm going to kind of barbarically describe to you why I love these so much. This one, the new Burberry Goddess perfume. First of all, just the packaging. Look at this. This one is definitely more of an aromatic. I believe it's described as fragrance, which means it's fresher. And even though I like androgynous scents, this one is definitely leaning a little bit more feminine. The top notes of this are vanilla, lavender, cocoa, and ginger, which I recently learned top notes actually fade the quickest. So that's kind of what it can start as, and especially when it maybe mixes and heats up with your body chemistry, the kind of middle notes and base notes will get a little bit more robust. So the middle notes are vanilla caviar, and the base note is vanilla absolute, whatever that means. But it's not vanilla-y because I don't like vanilla, like I'm not someone that likes vanilla candles that smell like cupcakes. I'm definitely getting more of the very subtle vanilla and lavender, but it is that sweetness, cause I don't like overly sweet perfumes, is totally kind of counterbalanced by the ginger. It's just such a beautiful, everyday fragrance. I would wear this like during the day, my daily life, not like maybe like an event or going out at night. Like this is just your, your daytime fragrance, if you will. This is so breathtaking. Next up, I don't know how new this is, but I just got it, so I'm gonna talk about it. This is the Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. So not the original Flower Bomb, the Ruby Orchid. Again, packaging. I always have loved the Flower Bomb packaging, but this color is just. So this one, she is, she knows 
knows who she is. The top notes in this one are Vine Peach Accord, the middle notes are Ruby Orchid Accord, and the bass notes are Red Vanilla Bean Accord. What I found so funny is they describe this on the website as confident, glamorous, and slightly provocative. Only slightly. I love that description. Honestly, they're not wrong. It is confident. This is the kind of fragrance if I pass someone wearing this, I'm gonna stop and say, what are you wearing? And the fact that they say slightly provocative is kind of like hitting the nail on the head because it has that like, it's sexy, but it's not too heavy. Again, androgynous, which is why I love getting perfumes like this that I feel like I can wear because it's not overly fruity and sweet and like bubble gummy, but it's also not too oud wood burning a campfire in the woods. It needs to be in that kind of middle, which is I guess how, what I refer to when I say androgynous. And I wanna make sure I articulate that even though I love ones like this that have a little bit of a bite to it, even though it's sensual, it is so beautifully balanced out by that peach. So if you like a lighter, softer, everyday fragrance, I would try the Burberry Goddess. And then if you're that girl that just wants like to turn heads, this. So the last one I have is a cologne. And the cool thing is this is also described as a unisex fragrance. This is the Barfly fragrance from Scotch and Soda. We went to London, Casey and I, with my best friend and his wife. It's funny when I got this, I came out of Scotch and Soda and I was talking to my best friend and he asked me what I got and I showed him this. I opened it, I was like, you have to smell this. And he sprayed it right there in the street. And my friend is, I don't wanna say he can be a little bit picky, but he has great style. He has a very good sense of style so he knows what he likes and what he doesn't like. And he literally walked into Scotch and Soda and bought one for himself. So the fact that he is as stylish as he is and knows what he's doing in that regard, and he's not gonna get it unless it was something special, that was a little bit of a compliment. This one I think any guy would love because it's not overly like, you know, like Axe body spray. Like a lot of men's colognes are just, they are doing way too much. I like to describe my favorite kind of colognes as gentlemanly. Do with that what you will. The top notes in this one are citrus herb. The middle notes are lavender and jasmine. And the base is sandalwood, musk, and Madagascar vanilla. So again, with those top notes of the citrus herb fading the quickest, I think the lavender and jasmine balance out the sandalwood, musk, and Madagascar vanilla beautifully. Again, you're getting that like androgynous mix, which is why this is like my go-to. Ooh, alrighty, my next one was actually burning behind me. Oh my God, so smoky. I don't know why I was burning this when I knew I was gonna talk about it because now there's hot wax. This is a candle from the company called Brooklyn. They are made in Brooklyn, New York. I'm a little bit of a candle snob. Every single time I'm in Home Goods or TJ Maxx, I'm taking that cart and I gotta go down the candle aisle. This one specifically is the Brooklyn Escapist candle. I love the way they describe this on the website and I think this is like hitting the nail on the head. Inspired by late nights lingering with friends in an aged leather booth with bustling cocktails cocktails, live jazz serenading the room, and sipping drinks infused with exotic ingredients like wild sage, cassis, and orange blossom. Even though it's like saying jazz music, etc., it's not that heavy kind of like someone is lighting a cigarette. It is so beautiful with that orange blossom and the sage. And what I love about this, if you look closely, that top, top line right up here is where it started, and it's only down to there. And I burn this like every single time I film and normally when I film, I'm filming for a couple hours. This is a 100% soy wax candle, which I love because it burns a lot slower. This size, which it doesn't exactly say what the specific size is, but this one I believe is 42, but this will last forever. So I wanted to include this because I know candles are, can be a really good like holiday gift, but I just feel like these one from Brooklyn Candle Studios are a little bit more elevated, but it's worth the money because it smells so luxurious and expensive, but it is going to last a very long time. So you're kind of getting the bang for your buck. I feel like that's the kind of thing when I give gifts, I love making someone kind of go like, oh, how'd you hear about this? Like, what is this? Like, it's a, it's more unique. It's a little bit more impressive for them to maybe open up something like that and be like, look at you. All right, next up, we have something a little bit odd, but this is the FX3. Shaver. If you've ever seen at the barbershop what they do when they give you a skin fade like this, literally 
shaves as close as a razor. And the reason I got this and love this so much is because when I do makeup all the time, especially when I always used to shave, shaving my face two days in a row, three days in a row, my God, it just ripped all of this to shreds. And I wanted an electric razor that got as close, and I'm talking as close, not, you know, little feeling the stubble. I'm talking baby smooth, where I didn't have to fuss with water, shaving cream, and a razor. Being a hairstylist, I was like, oh, why don't I get like a barber's kind of trimmer like this? And my God, this one is on Amazon. It's not overly expensive. I'll clean up more with an electric razor that you would use like a guard with for your beard. I will clean up the lines, but then still, you can kind of still feel the roughness, but then I will go in with this and do that. And I'm telling you all here and here, baby smooth, as though I completely shaved, let alone when I do completely shave, now I can just use my electric razor to take off the bulk and get it down to almost nothing and then go in with this. It's as though I shaved with an actual razor and shaving cream, but especially for women out there, I mean, listen, if you want something to just boop, 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 like shave the legs real quick, don't have to worry about the whole rigmarole, this is, Amazing. Moving on to makeup. So again, I don't think these are new by any means, but these are the Bobbi Brown Color Correcting Sticks. So I love the Bobbi Brown Color Correctors, and for the longest time, I always use the cream in the pot. And while I love them, I think that kind of a cream can be a little bit creasy or subtle, where these are so beautiful. I love the applicator of this, just to be able to literally draw on right where I need it, and you can blend this with your finger. It blends in like butter, and then when you blend it out, it not only looks like you have absolutely nothing on, but it goes beautiful underneath concealer, which that's always a big thing with color corrector for me. I wanna make sure that it's not gonna change the formula of my concealer. Over like the blue vein out here, I have been obsessed with these, especially how easy they are. Like if you get the right color, this is the light peach. If I'm doing like I have on right now, like guy makeup, you know, where I'm not highlighting and contouring, I use the darker. And then when I do full glam makeup, I use light bisque, which is a little bit lighter to brighten. And you can just see the difference in covering that kind of blue vein that you can still see a little bit of that darkness peeking through. But if you're looking for a bomb color corrector, especially dry and mature skin, my God, this is, I don't know why it took me so long to try these. Next up, we have more sticks. No, these are the Ravi Beauty Effortless Lips. So I just featured these on my How to Make Your Makeup Last All Day video, and these have become my absolute favorite not only lip sticks, lip products, it literally is just what it says it is, effortless lips. These are what I would consider the lip you would wanna wear to work. You want it to feel super comfortable, you don't wanna fuss with it. There are three shades. We have Tulip, Delilah, and Lily. Lily is literally my absolute perfect nude. It starts out as you put it on, it will be a little more sheer. The more you layer this on, which honestly, you're gonna get addicted to putting this on. Sometimes I have to stop myself because I just keep putting it on when I'm at, like have full makeup on and I'm like, like, John, it's not chapstick, it has color, calm down. But the more you put it on, the more opaque it's gonna get. Mm, God, and it feels so good on the lips. I just love those so much. They've absolutely become my favorite lip products. Now we have the Moira Love Steady Liquid Blushes. My gourd, I'm obsessed with these. They have a matte formula and a radiant formula. I have only tried the mattes, so that is really what I'm speaking to. It has almost like a whipped formula, but the reason I love this so much is because of how easy this blends out on the skin. It is literally one and done coverage. I use this in that other video as well, how to make your makeup last all day if you wanna see it with a full look. It blends out like I'm using a powder, but it's a cream. So it looks more hydrated than a powder blush. It's not patchy, it is even on the skin. There is so many colors to pick from. If you're somebody that has oily skin and you always wanna use liquid or cream blush, but you feel like too many of them are just like goopy and creamy and are gonna make you more oily or shiny, these are absolutely clutch. And even for mature skin, if you are more oily, these are gonna be your best friend because 
because it's more creamy and hydrating, so it's gonna look more hydrated, but it has that soft matte finish where it's not gonna make you more shiny. And our last two products are hair care. So this one is just a little bit fun. This is from Ava NYC. So this is a silver sparkle hair and body spray. You can find this at Ulta. And the reason I like this so much is because whenever I've tried anything like this, I feel like it's like from a Halloween store. I feel like I'm spraying super glue in my hair. Like my hair could snap off when at the end of the night. But this being from an actual like reputable, really beautiful hair care brand, this has argan oil, plant protein. It is not gross in your hair. But when I was wearing this to events, I literally was walking around the party and especially like low lighting at a party, people were stopping me and they're like, oh my God, like your hair is literally like glittering. It's just the coolest thing, super fun for holidays. I just thought I would put this in there just so you knew that this is right at Ulta. If you wanna have a little extra sparkle this holiday season, pick this up. All right, last but not least, I told you I was saving my best for last. Let me tell you, the minute I dyed my hair blonde, I've been doing this for a little over a year now, it felt like a little bit of an attack that I started getting waterboarded with PR from companies for repair shampoos and purple shampoos. They were basically saying, Johnny, your hair looks dry, take care of it. So I am gonna be doing a whole hair care video soon on the best curl, repair, purple shampoos and conditioners, but I could not wait to tell you about this. So like I said, I have tried so many different hair care products over the past year, and this one right here. I have never been so floored buy a hair care product so quickly in my entire life. And I have my cosmetology license. I've been doing hair for 10 years. This is the Biolage Bond Therapy Smoothing Leave-In Treatment. So obviously dyeing my hair blonde and it being short, I have to do it pretty frequently. I would say I have to touch it up like every three weeks. And I'm not kidding, the first like 75% of the year, whenever I was done touching it up, the probably top inch of my hair literally was like, hey, I just had to wait for it to grow out a little bit so I could give myself a haircut and get that off. I was using other bonds, shampoos, conditioners, leave-ins, etc. Nothing was blowing me away. So I busted these bad boys out and redid my hair. And all you do with this at the end is I will use about, and the crazy thing, even for my short hairs, you can't even really overuse this, but I would say I use about a nickel size of this on damp hair, run this through. And the cool thing about me as your guinea pig is me having short hair, it does touch my scalp. Unlike someone with long hair, you could really focus just having this on your ends, but I will attest to even having this on the scalp, it doesn't alter, like make you more oily, you don't feel it on the scalp, which is also really beautiful. But when I tell you this goes on my hair, then I blow dry my hair, I straighten my hair, and my hair literally feels like it is coated and protected in this silk, breathtaking, soft, little baby silk armor. It is so freaky. And by that, I mean, I've never felt anything like this. Putting it in as a leave-in product, normally your just hair feels how it felt before you used it. And you're like, okay, it was a leave-in conditioner. I hope it's doing something. This, immediately, you can't stop touching your hair. And I'm telling you, since I've had this now for about three months, every time I'm touching up my hair now, the ends of my hair when I'm done are not even not Brillo-y feeling. They're not even like dead ends, split ends, mildly damaged from the bleach. And I'm dyeing my hair the same way I did the beginning of the year. My hair has gotten so smooth and silky from this and it being a bond therapy treatment, it not only is just like a leave-in conditioner that's gonna make your hair smooth, it literally is making the bonds in your hair stronger and building those bonds. So it is making the hair stronger and more healthy. It is very rare that I get something that I try and it blows me away so much. Like I said, if I never got PR again a day in my life, I would continue to buy this until the day I died. And that's it guys, my November favorites. I hope some of these excited you. Let me know what your favorites at the moment are. I'm always dying to try stuff you guys recommend to me. Everything that I mentioned in today's video will be in the description box down below. And also, I don't know if you knew this, but there's like a product tagging feature on YouTube now that like I can tag the products in the videos. And again, I could care less if you buy it through that. That's not my point. The reason I love doing that is because I can pick the retailer. So not only is it a way for me to like let you guys know where it is sold if you are interested, but what I love that they updated recently was that let's say I 
like link this at Ulta or whatever, if it's on sale in real time, you will see right in the product tagging thing down in the description of the products that I tag that it's like discounted, which they didn't do that in the beginning. And that was something I told the people in Switzerland and California. I wanna be able to tell you guys when something's on sale right then and there so you could see that it's on sale. So you can. So that's really my motivation for putting it down there so that you know where you can get it if you're interested or even get a sample and smell it or if it is on sale. That is it for me today. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for many more videos like this. Turn on those notifications if you don't have them on already because it'll notify you every single time I upload a new video. Wherever you guys are, I hope you are happy, safe, and healthy. I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.